And welcome back to Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island. Actually, before we go anywhere, we picked up quite a few things. Let's see. We have 202 pieces of eight. Uh, that ham from earlier. A red herring. Some pretty flowers. It's a striking yellow color. Uh, let's see. That map we picked up. Steve, my rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Uh, sword. Slash master. When you want a sword as sharp as your wit. A shovel. Digmaster, the only shovel <laughs> for master. serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. TM. And some breath mints. Breathmaster. TM. The pirate who cares about first impressions. Let's have one. Ooh, that's refreshing. Mmm, mints. Actually, I kind of hate breath mints, personally. Always tastes like toothpaste to me. Well, anyways, now that we have some breath mints, let's give uh, this prisoner some so we can actually talk to him. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Uh, sure. Who the hell are you? Who are you? My name is Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. How do you forget your own you name by being in prison? I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. You know, I just noticed something. Those bars don't seem very big. I'm pretty sure you could just squeeze through them. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. Oops. It's against the law to pick them. Oops. Um, well, I'm sure no one will mind that we picked the flowers illegally. We're a pirate. Laws don't apply to us. Can we get you anything? Can I get you anything? Yes. You can get me out of here! Actually, something to get rid of these rats would be nice. I'll trade you this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made. Mm, I hate carrot, carrot cake. cake. And I'm not a fan of carrot cake either, but still. Couldn't you just eat the carrot cake? Well, I gotta go. Keep a stiff upper lip. I gotta go. Thanks a lot. Let's give him some of those illegal flowers. Let's uh, pass the blame onto him. I don't want anything but my freedom. Nope. Oh, well, he's not going to take anything from us. Technically, wouldn't a sword... Oops. Wouldn't a sword uh, kill the rats? Speaking of rats... It's locked. Yes, I know it's locked, Guybrush. I meant look at the rat. But okay. Now then, first thing I want to do actually is the trial of... Thievery. I need to find a house to rob. Huh, I could rob the church or the prison or that mansion on the hill. Let's do that. Who better to rob than the governor of the island? Hopefully security's not too tight. I don't see anything special about it. Except for the fact that the giant mansion. I don't think I can get past them. Yep, and a giant flock of piranha poodles. We can't go past them. <sighs> well, I'm not sure how you're actually supposed to know this. I accidentally did this when I was younger, but you have to use the yellow petals on the meat. And now we have some spiced meat. It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. And let's give the meat to the poodles. Oops. Important notice. <laughs> These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. Please don't sue, PETA. Actually, PETA wouldn't sue. They would just go ape shit if you actually killed dogs back then. But nope, they're just sleeping. They're sleeping peacefully. Aw, let's pick them up. I can't pick that up. Piranha poodles. So to get them, would you need to crossbreed a poodle and a piranha? Oh god. I don't like where this line of thinking is going. I'm just going to leave. Alright, let's do this. We're going to need all our wits to get in this house. After all, it's the governor's mansion. It shouldn't just be... Oh, door's unlocked. Okay. Well, that was easy. Let's close the door. Gotta be polite. Let's take a look around first. I don't recognize the man. 
but he has a great hat. That is a nice hat. And it's a pretty good dog, too. Why is he showing his legs? No time for reading now. There's no time always for time now. for reading, Guybrush. What else is around here? Uh, nothing I can look No, that door's locked. I remember that. Can't steal the ship in a bottle. I've always wanted a ship in a bottle. Seemed kind of cool. Oops. A priceless Ming. Ooh, a Ming vase. Yoink. That doesn't look like the vase I just a picked up. A priceless Ming. But okay. What's in here? This looks like a job for Fester Shine. Fester, top. don't look into the camera. You're breaking the illusion. I think we found her fireworks uh, cache. Eh, better leave this here. Yeah, pay attention to the bot to the uh, little command prompt. <laughs> Hypnotize for some rhinoceros. No, not the red button. Oh crap! We just launched a nuke. Hi, horsey. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Well, rule of adventure gaming. Pick I up the lips. And probably the yak. I can't move it. I'm not doing any of this, by the way. Use staple remover on... Oh, God! Yeah, how'd you think that was going to end? Still not controlling this, by the way. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Back into the hole we go. Let's see. Ooh, free wax lips. Those could be useful. Heck! Gophers! Ooh, I love gophers! Actually, I take gophers. Aww. Aww. We're killing the poor little gophers. We're killing a bunch of poor little gophers. <laughs> Funny little man. It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. Um. Oh, hey, we got a chair. Oops. That should hold him for a while. So, that happened. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Unfortunately, Guyrush can't pick lock, so we're gonna need to find a way through that. Also, we got a few items from that little escapade. Let's see, we have a staple remover. But this will come in handy. We got a style, a manual of style. I think it's some kind of religious text. And some wax They're lips. They're yak sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. Why would you chew on them? They're yak sized Aww. and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on and them. And we got some gopher repellent. It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. Huh. Well, we can't do anything here for now. Oh, wait. Can we still pick this up? Yoink. I'll take that. So, uh, we're gonna need to find some kind of file or something to get through that lock. Let's see, we have some gopher repellent. Wonder if Otis would want that. Wonder if that works on rats. Well anyways, yeah, you have to give the, uh, you have to go to the mansion and then give Otis his gopher repellent. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Yay, cake. Screw being a pirate. I have cake now. A very square-shaped cake. It's heavy. Huh. Well, free cake. Ooh. It's a raspy metal file. It had a file in it. 
Well, we could give it back to Otis and help him get free, but... Finders Keepers. He gave us the cake. He knew what he was doing. Although you would think you would notice something that heavy inside your cake. Oh, well. Piranha Poodles are still sleeping, sleeping peacefully. peacefully. They're sleeping. Got it? They're not dead. Anyways, now that we have our file... Let's get back in there. That doesn't seem to work. No, get back in there. I got the file. You know, I don't think they ever actually review what's going on back there. Also, they did have electric shredders in the 18th century. Whee! Oh, my wax lips! Oh, I wanted to keep those. Guy brush, just focus. There you go. That not a very bad in the title, but okay. Well, we got what we came for. Time to get the hell out of dodge. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Well, uh -oh. time to leave. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So um, can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodle. They're sleeping. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. It was unlocked. The door was unlocked. Oh, wow. <laughs> And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. Uh, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm surprised how well this game kind of reflects well, my comments. I haven't played this game for so long. Uh, let's see. Um, I was just taking it out for a walk. Well, I was just taking it out for a walk. Ah! I don't need to be walked. What's going on here? I'm British. I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just taking it out for a walk. Well, isn't that nice of him? What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? Door was unlocked. Uh, yeah. Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. When there's Governor only one Eileen candidate, Marley. there's only one choice. Taking my idol out for a little breather, were you? Also, I don't know why she's British in this version, but let's see what she looked like in the original. A lot more frumpy, it seems. Let's see, um... Oh. Uh... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. Guy I know Threepwood. why you're here. Why are you pirate? Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. I can't believe you got past the guard rhinoceros. Or the clown. Jeepers. Uh... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. What were your parents thinking? Tell me, Guybrush. Why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Booty? Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Way to go, Guybrush. You screwed it. Blurgle. Blurgle. Murfinkiv. And Wingly? Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Aw, you blew your only chance with the hot lady. Well, we got our idol at least. It's beautiful. No, it's not. It's actually kind of plain looking. I forget how it doesn't look in the original. Still looks the same. Still silent, I see. Back to special edition we go.
Where oh, do you hi. think you're going, Froom Wade? Threepwood. Uh. Friendship? You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Well, it's only 10 o'clock. Hand over your sword. No, why uh -oh. don't we... We could just stab him, you know. Or not. That's a pretty big this idol, actually. This is the end actually. of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. TM. My plans for the governor are far too important. And He's totally going to hit that. To risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spicecake or Droopface or whatever your name is. Still not evil. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Only two hours left of it, though, because it's 10 o'clock at night. Well, we're kind of screwed. Good thing Irish can hold his breath for 10 minutes. Let's see. Ooh, a cleaver. Sharp and dangerous. I can't reach that from here. Oh, some I scissors. I can't reach that from here. Very sharp. So an axe. Why is all this stuff down here? It's sharp. I better be careful. Plenty of sharp instruments around us. Rusty, but sharp. I don't think that actually Looks works. Sharp. Ooh, a hacksaw. Looks sharp. I can't reach that from here. Fortunately, we can't reach anything. Well, we have ten minutes. I'm sure we could figure something out. Uh... Got any ideas, that Steve? Seem to work. Nope, my rubber chicken doesn't have any ideas. Well, we still have ten minutes. Yes, I know the solution to this puzzle. I'm just waiting for something real quick. Hey, fishy! What's this look like in the original? Still silent, but still. Oh, That is one weird looking idol. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Well, let's see. Um... We could technically... I suppose that could work. No staples to be removed. Did they even have staples back then? I don't think they did. Hmm. Huh. Well, we still have about, like, nine minutes. Oh, hey! Hey, Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve <laughs> that big knife you've got there? <laughs> yeah. What should I do with it? That man has striped socks. Get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. Do it. No, don't do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. They didn't have fingerprints it back in. then. Eh, I might need it. Oh, but, but See knife. Ya. And then they were never heard from again. That guy has striped socks still. Oh well, let's see. I still have about eight minutes before Guyver loses er uh, can't hold his breath any longer. I just need to think. Hmm. This might take a while. <laughs>